whoa, whoa. Okay. Huge, huge accomplishment. I just walked 500 miles. Now, off trail miles, I still know part of San Jacinto. I gotta go back and do it, but off trail miles, I had to walk 15 miles off trail and then up, you know, Black Mountain Road and everything. But I'm still coming back for San Jacinto. So I've definitely walked more than 500 miles counting non PCT miles out here. So I am really proud. I am alone, of course. The last few days, I can't keep up with anybody. That always makes me so sad. Ah, I am definitely a. If it's not obvious, it wasn't really obvious to me because I thought I'd do this solo, be by myself, but I know it makes me happy being around people. <laughs> so it is sad that I can't keep up with anybody, but <laughs> I walked 500 miles, right? I gotta, I guess I'll just be 100% honest here. I haven't done a lot of filming because I've been really hyper focused on miles too. And with carrying the extra water, the food, the backpack, it's uh, tough. So I did like 14.7, 14.9, like right there at 15. Would have been easy to do a 15, but the campsite was there. So stopped there yesterday, but I really wanted to do like 40 miles yesterday. And the truth is, is hiking with the, uh, well, I've known Little B two days before we actually started hiking together. And she stopped and wanted to hike with me for two days. And I had a really great time hiking with her. <laughs> She's uh, very shy and doesn't ever want to be on the camera though. But I actually think that's really cute. <laughs> and uh, I let her go at Casa de Luna. And she, a friend, her friend was uh, waiting for a package at Hiker Town. And uh, she really needed to get there. And she told me if we hike together, as long as I can do 15, okay. But if we didn't hike together, I said, what if we didn't hike together? She said she would do 20. So when she left, she told me she did 21 miles. So I kind of let her go. <laughs> and the spirit and everything's willing to catch back up, but the body isn't. So, huh. well, I hit a road. There's an arrow down there. It says go this way. So, oh, I see a sign way, way down there. So maybe just walk on a fire road for a little bit and see how that goes. So, uh, somebody did a bunch of hearts and a smiley face. And... I know, leave no trace. Those things don't last, it's like instantly gone. Vehicle goes by, wind comes, they're gone. <clears throat> yeah, somebody tried to write something here, can't read it, doesn't. It only lasts for like a day. I definitely did the right thing by not holding her back. I almost think that's the trail. Okay, I'll assume this is the trail. If not, I'll do some backtracking. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oops, giant steps. <laughs> I'm gonna grab onto this tree. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, the water. I'm completely out of water, but I just drank all my water. So two miles. So I definitely did the right thing because I have to ask myself, if this person wasn't here, how would I do my hike? 
and she's on a visa and her visa ends so she has to uh, keep going or she's not going to finish the trail and whoa would i not be want to be responsible for that so i did the right thing by letting her go but i'm also motivated to try to catch her <laughs> and somebody else who i really miss i miss panda i hope if anything i can form some really great friendships that last out here so i can't wait for panda to get back from his wedding too that would be great but I don't want him to compromise his hike either. At the end, we all have one goal, and we don't want anybody to ruin that, is to get to Canada. So, and that wasn't really my goal more in the beginning. I'd still be happy to lose 200. <laughs> yeah, to stop going uphill. So, I like going uphill though. It hurts my feet less. So, this isn't bad. So I need the right thing. I need to always remember if things are meant to be, friendships are meant to be, so be it. But don't beat yourself up. You can be sad. They're like, oh no, but it's also gonna be so cool if you ever run into the person again. So I'm gonna see what I can do. So I have a plan yesterday. I just wanted the night hike too, to cover the miles. But I ended up stopping because I was afraid of injury and everything. So I just keep listening to my body, but let's see what I can do today. I wanna go well over 20. To catch up the little B right now, I think I would have to, if I'm guessing if she does just a minimum of 18 today, I would have to do 42 miles right now. It feels like it could happen as long as... Or let me explain this. Why I think it could happen is everybody says they're night hiking this desert part, the aqueducts, because it's so hot. So everybody's night hiking. So really, if I do what everybody's doing and night hike it and not go to bed, skip hiker town, it may be possible to do 42 by morning time and get out of the aqueduct desert. It's 18 miles of no water. So I've never done an 18 mile day. <laughs> so somebody who's never done an 18 mile day has some really big ambitions. And it's okay to have goals. Let's see if they uh, work. And I won't beat myself off if they don't because the spirit's motivated. Just if the body says no, I don't want to get an injury and get off trail. Let's just see if I can consistently hike all day and night and see. <laughs> Watch it. 7.30, 8 p.m. rolls around. I am tired and can't move another step, so... <laughs> I, but I really want this to happen. So let's see if I can make it happen. Hey everybody. So right there actually is filled with water. However, and I'm out of water. I drank my water in anticipation of that. I'm not even going to walk up there because there's just multiple comments that says it's a dead animal. Someone said it looks like a dead bear. And at the last place, they actually said there was a bear. Like, this is a local bear that hanged around that one campground. So there are bears up here. And uh, that's really bad. Maybe he fell in and drowned. So I'm not even going to go up there because it seems like the consensus of multiple comments is water's no good so i am really thirsty so this is a little bit of a mistake but the next water source is only 2.1 and it's mostly downhill unless like the last 0 0.4 0 0.5 it's uphill 
and that's part of the hiking thing too is sometimes you should always carry extra and stuff so two miles i still feel okay i still have plenty of water i'm probably just a liter short right now probably when i get there i'll probably definitely need to drink at least a minimum of two liters to get back up so but yeah luckily it's mostly downhill now it's kind of a warm day and i've done 12 miles and little b was giving me up to date where her location is i never asked she just gave it to me and said here i am and so i think she wants to hike i know she wants to hike with me too so if i can make it happen i lost panda i've replaced panda with little b no sorry i love you panda too <laughs> uh and i know i'm gonna see panda again too just have to wait for him to get back and how we can catch each other and I would really love to finish with Panda that would be ideal and a bunch of other hikers that I bond with I plan on we can all finish together that's going to be such a emotional time we better all cry big hugs <laughs> uh, but, so I've done 10, 11 miles. That means I got 30, 31 for my crazy goal. I just need to listen to my body though. If my body says this isn't gonna work, it's not gonna work. Most of the things out here are mental though. So yeah, most things out here are mental. And, oh my God, I'm being photobombed. Ah! Ah! <laughs> well, that's awkward. <laughs> All right. Hey everybody, I got those two hikers. It's Papers and Kristen, Christy. Sorry, I got her name. Close. She knew that already. I met them the night before. I was like, it's always Christy or Kristen. I love you both though. But uh, uh, they told me of this water source just right here so I don't have to walk to two miles. I just had to go up a little bit of a hill. But they said definitely a dead bear in the other one. Or two dead bears, so. Oh, I think I have to crawl in here though and scoop out water. Hopefully there's not a snake, but they did it. So I think I can do it. This is cool. Okay. Water sounds awesome. So yeah, this worked out awesome. Hey everybody. Well, I keep having bees land on me, but I think they're just really thirsty and I'm salty and delicious. They're not biting me though. Let's see if I can find one. Ah, yeah, they're kind of behind me. I think they're landing on my back now. Um, I just keep them land on my backpack and just one landed on my belly, but delicious. Oh yeah, there's a bee. He's just trying to get water off my water filter. So, good time. So I have this uh, theory, because those hikers saved me, by the way. Two miles, I was getting really thirsty. It's really hot. Should try to get back in the shade. There's a cloud about to cover the sun though, so yay. Um, I have this theory. And I think I'm on to something here too. It's not just resting the feet and trying to get the feet more elevated above the head. It's also staying hydrated that helps with swelling. When you get dehydrated, I think you start swelling up more. And I think that's part of my problem too is I don't drink enough. And I need to make sure I drink enough. Oh, it'd be, he's, you know, land on me. Get some water. Get some water. I got stung by your friends yesterday though. It wasn't nice. But we're all trying to survive out here, aren't we? Aw, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Just please don't bite me. I don't want you to die. Just get your drink. Oh, man. <laughs> Little do they know they can go under there, but that looks scary dangerous. If I was a bee, I wouldn't want to go under there either. So, anyways, this rambling, that's my theory. Got a lot of water. A lot of water on the way down to the desert, this 18 mile stretch. And if I want to catch Little B, she didn't tell me how far she was going to make it today, but the minimum she has to make it is the 18 miles across that desert. So if I want to catch her, I have to do 33 miles. So let's see. I'm still motivated. Getting tired though. So, oh my God, the beast landing on my hand that's holding the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, okay, now he flew. Okay, so, I mean, that's it. I don't want to tell her. 
I think last night she said she didn't want me to get hurt though either. So, and I get it. I don't want to get myself injured or hurt by pushing it faster than I'm supposed to. But I'm gonna listen to my body here, see what I can do. If not, I mean, she never has to know. Let's keep that our secret that I was trying to catch back up to her when I let her go. <sighs> but, uh, maybe it'll be interesting motivation. Motivation to see where I can push, push it so I don't feel lonely. So, let's see what I can do. But I think it would be really cool. It would be a cool story. When Panda left me, he felt like he was already always like 20, 30 miles behind before he uh, went to get on the airplane. So, I don't know. If I was a little bit faster, I could have hiked with Panda all the way until he had to get off for the airplane. But then he would still have to get off and get back on that location when he comes back. And then it's a long way to catch me. So, I can't go too fast either because then I won't catch up to Panda. Oh, no. <laughs> so, we'll see, though. I think it's like 1 o'clock. I've done 11 miles maybe so far. I don't know. Yeah, about 11. So... I think I can do it though. Let the bees get a little bit more to drink off of me and then I'm gonna drink some more and then kinda keep going. Where are you? I think I see you. Yeah, I see you. It's okay, how about this? I will go really slowly to the right so I don't anger you. And you just chill, okay? Chill. It's okay. Oh, look it. I get past, he stops too. Ooh, that's scary. So. Ooh, look at all the butterflies. <laughs> yeah, originally met Papers and Christine right here, but they're gone. But I took a long break. I didn't think they'd be here. And so I got swarmed by bees. And then, uh, see pretty butterfly, see the rattlesnake, did not scream. He was far off trail. So, my, uh, so I did switch backpacks, and I do love granite gear. I hope I can go back to them and maybe find something. But, uh, REI, super comfortable, but this thing that goes off the strap snaps off all the time. So my chest strap never stays, so... Not a fan of the backpack just because of it always snaps off. And that stops me. I have to stop and deal with that, so. I don't know. Too bad, though. Maybe I'll find the perfect backpack for me, though. That's comfortable. Big man comfy. So, alright. Wow. You have to say that is beautiful. I've already broke my record. I think it's maybe over 16 miles now. Still lots of light left. And like maybe a mile ago, it finally was stopping uphill. It was uphill most of the day, but this is what I'm doing now. So I gotta go down this, keep going down, which I hate going down because it hurts my feet. So I have to keep stopping so they stop swelling. And if I want to catch up to Little B, she just sent me a message and said, hey, she stopped for the day. She's uh, pretty much just on the other side of that desert that has no water. Besides the feet swelling, nothing hurts. So no ibuprofen or anything. What I do is I stop once it gets too bad, they get swollen and you know, I just, I try to get them above my heart. That's how I get them pretty close and rest them and the swelling goes down, I massage them. And get going again, but I definitely am looking for any other pain, so I don't want knee pain. 
So everybody pretty much crosses this section at night. They do not cross it when the sun's out or especially midday because there's no cover. I'm just gonna walk through that desert behind me. And uh, you don't wanna just be out in that desert. We're going down in elevation, it's gonna be super hot. And I only have two and a half liter bottles, two bottles that are two and a half liters. So I also need to anticipate if I do try to cross the desert tonight, today, tonight that uh i may crash so to do that 18 mile stretch of desert there to cross it with no water i'm gonna need at least maybe seven eight liters just in case i do crash so hope when i get down there something's gonna be open if there's hopefully because i think we passed the road in hiker town and I'll try to film Hiker Town. Also, my LED flashlight's not working the best, but my phone flashlight is super powerful and lasts a long time, but it might start draining my power. And I don't want to run out of power for filming, so I don't know. We'll see. Maybe charge my headlamp a little bit more and see if it gets more power and lights a little better. What I'm really counting on is if there's a full moon. If there's a full moon, it's easy to night hike, night hike and we're just walking on the Los Angeles aqueducts so it's flat and if there's a moon out I'll be nice <sighs> stay on trail PCC just into hunt club hunting and shooting Ooh, I don't know it's past April so no hunting so I've done over 20 miles today Yay, I hope everybody can see me. Oh, let me see. So, I've done over 20 miles today. Yay, I think maybe 21. So, it's now getting nighttime and I'm almost to the desert floor. It's actually down there. So, this, I guess what I'm doing is very common in the PCT, but normally they wait till Oregon. Uh, Dixie, the most probably the most popular hiker on YouTube, she calls it, uh, well, everybody calls it the 24 hour challenge. You hike for 24 hours. So I never thought I would ever say I would do that, but I think I'm gonna do that tonight. So here I go. everybody uh, kind of wobbly so uh, I didn't actually take a video all day so yesterday what happened is I was very ambitious I was gonna go for 42 miles I did 24.7 very impressive but I hiked all the way to about 1230 got to hiker town went found this a chair and got my sleeping bag out I didn't want to be rude and set up any type of uh, tent yet. I just figured I'll just sit on the outskirts in the chair and see if I'm like welcome there or not. Like I wasn't sure what the rules were and I wasn't just gonna mosey on and make myself at home at that late at night. But out loud came and she told me that, oh no, just go set up cowboy camp. We're over there if you wanna come over there. Uh, so she told me everything was okay there is no rules like that so I wanted to keep going but I also wanted to throw up and everything so I stopped at 24.7 miles and I did go 2.2 off trail the one campground and there was a little trail magic he gave me a liter of water that's all I could spare and some artichokes so that was a few artichokes were salty. I think he was pretty much running out of his trail magic, but uh, it was really good. So really I did over 25 miles of hiking yesterday, counting non-PCT miles. And uh, 
So, to cross the dead intersection, I took an extra bunch of water and left in the afternoon. The wind was going, so I was like, well, this is going to stay cool. So, 17 miles to the next water source, and I still had over five to go. So, I still have a liter of water, but my feet are killing me. And I think it's mostly, yeah, it's probably hiking a lot yesterday. Why did I keep swelling? But really, walking on the aqueducts. Paved dirt. Ah, the wind. Just had to be a killer on the feet. Just really tired. I think I better lay down soon. I'm getting wobbly too. So, get, I think I have more than plenty of water to make it to the next water source, even if I can. So, I'll be good. Bye, everybody. Love you.